Hi guys. All right. Um. Without further ado, let's just hit, 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 and then get into the next level. So, um, if you pick the bass, what is the first thing that comes to your mind to play, right? But I'm going to outline two things you need to know as a beginner, as a starter. First off, you are a rhythmic slash melodic musician. By that I mean you can't do without reading why you play the bass. That is why we're working closely and hand in hand with a drummer. The drummer has to um, work with you to understand. So first, it's called a bass guitar, right? And then if you know a little about drums and then you have a little knowledge about components of or the part of drums, there's a the big one is called the bass drum, which gives the depth. Now you have to be in sync with the bass drum. You play with the bass drum. Now from timing to um, yeah, from keeping off time to um, playing notes and all of that all has to come under the bedrock of the sequence of you following the bass drum so when you pick the bass for the first time very importantly understand that you are not just working alone you are working with the bass drum secondly as a bass player <laughs> this is sounding ridiculous but yes i have to say you don't need to do too much so less is more and more is less these two things less is more and more is less in okay let me just explain this practically when you see a drummer playing few times will the drummer start playing so much with his kick with his bass drum everything um everything let me in the word use the word noisy rather use the word noisy in quote happens with his hands but the bass most times is steady before the bass goes off something else is keeping the time do you understand so now i'm saying all of this to say that you don't have to do so much as a bass player if you're keeping the rhythm and melody of the song now so let me just give a practical example now this is my bass right now if my bass drum is going one two three four all I need to do is either I follow the bass drum on the one and the four, which is you understand? I'm going one, two, three, four. If the music is four, four count, you understand? I'm going one, two, three. The, the very practical example is using a metronome. So if it's going one, two, three, four, I can be going on the one and the four. I'm like one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and do you understand? And if I can maintain this, I'm literally playing the bass already. Literally playing the bass already. So these are the two things you need to know as a beginner, as a starter, starting the bass guitar. With this, I think you i would say you have set the ball rolling so like i said to, to to do a recap first of all um all in no sequence in order know that your role is um, to keep the rhythm and the melody you're in between it so the bass drum is who or the drummer is who you work with and you work sequentially with his drums his bass drum you understand and secondly um, less is more and more is less Less is more and more is less. You don't need to do so much. The little you are doing is enough. As you begin to play with the drummer, you are following the music already. You are doing, you are doing just fine. So know the know your role in the music. Your role in the music, and this will keep you in check. Thank you.
So um, don't forget to ask any question. And if you haven't followed, um, subscribe to this channel. Please go ahead and subscribe. If you have not followed my Facebook page, go ahead and follow. If you have not followed my um, Instagram, my TikTok, go ahead and follow all of them. See you. Thank you.